Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Mikat's Garage. Today we are going to change our Beatles front bumper. Don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions below and support us by clicking that subscribe button. This bumper was in a small collision which damaged the front right side. To take it off, the easiest way is to just remove the full front clip. To do so, you only needed to remove the inner fender lines and remove all the bolts holding the fenders, which are located inside the fender wells and across the engine bay. So we moved the headlights, turn signals and disconnected the fog lights. Attaching the front clip, it's easy to pull it out in one go. With the front clip out, it was easy to access the bolts that hold the fenders and bumper together. They are simply sandwiched between two plates that the bolts hold together. Connecting the fenders with the bumper was what I was dreading the most, but I have to admit that the design was well done, as there are two small pins that line the fender with the bumper. This makes the alignment very easy.
front clip back as one, we can put it back in its position. We did have to fiddle a bit with it to make sure that it was in the correct position. And the bolt holes were all aligned. Expression. This was when I realized that I had not a mistake. As the fog light support wall holds the grill in place, you need to make sure that you put it in before mounting the bumper. Like our friend Murphy says, if something can go wrong, it will. With the bumper out of the car, we were able to finally secure the grill correctly and tighten all the bolts that weren't accessible when the bumper is in the car. With a strong deja vu feeling, we were able to put the front clip back on the car.
Thank you for watching and we do encourage you to leave your feedback and comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and see you next time!